Hey, y'all. Yes. Surprise guest, my son, Superfly. That's all y'all need to know. He, he's super fly and he's engaged to be married, okay? But anyway, um, back in the main cave with the hubby and, and my son talking about, I know where I was, the videos I was doing in my room. And one of the videos, of course, was um, Trinity. Hey, girl, you is the topic in our house tonight, baby girl. Mm -hmm. You hot topic. So I I read your comment that you left about you know you you ready to move out you from a Christian home you um not sure if you want your boyfriend to move in with you and your your plan B was your cousin or something. I'm let him I'm let Superfly talk so hit it cut it down baby um the bottom line is make sure you can do it on your own before you. Want to bring in your boyfriend, your cousin, your best friend, whoever. Make sure you can do it on your own and live comfortably on your own. If you can do it on your own, then if you want to bring in your boyfriend, your cousin, that's fine. Because if some fall off with that, you still got yourself to fall back on. And then your plan B should be back at home with your parents. Because I understand what you're saying. If anything goes wrong with me, my parents got my back 100%. Family is, what you can, family is what you can rely on. It really is. If you can do it on your own, go ahead, move out. Don't say nothing. Go ahead, go ahead, get your place. Get your electricity turned on. Do your thing. Just show up at the house and be like, hey, y'all, I'm moving out. My house is blah, blah, blah. Peace out. Visit me if you want to. If not, may want to rethink, reevaluate a little bit, then go from there. If you can do it on your own, go for it. You'll be all right. But also, Trinity, remember, this is your idea. So don't do this and then be like, okay, well, um, um Tyrone, you, you laying over here. You need to pay half of the rent and stuff. No. It ain't his idea that was yours. So if you let Tyrone bring his ass over there and y'all spooning all night and stuff, mm -hmm. that's that's some bullshit. Don't even let him come over there and lay up like that if he ain't paying something in that apartment. Mm -hmm. But to start off from the beginning, let's have an understanding. Like, look, if you're going to be over here more than five days out of the week, you need to start paying. But don't expect that from him. Don't pressure him. Be like, okay, well, um, you over here all the time. You're going to have to help out. Nope. That's your responsibility. Well, we'll sure so don't you get, don't sure let him don't let him lay up over there. Let him come over there and visit and cook you some shrimps or whatever. I, I see them all. Holler. But if he if he's a responsible man, on if he's on your level, it'll be fine. But if he ain't on your level, if he just like, okay, I got somewhere to lay up now and play on um, Grand Theft Auto all day or some bullshit. No, nigga, no. Niggle it. No. Bye. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> Got anything to say, Big Daddy? Nope. Yes, you do. I got something to say. Nah, already said. He already said. Mm -hmm. You finished, son? Huh? I'm speaking for my daddy on this one. He probably would have said exactly what I said. Be my son handsome, y'all. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Holla. I holla.